after understanding the curve web model in its usual cases where the slope of demand curve and supply curve are not equal that is when they are unequal like this we have studied the convergent case and we have also studied the non-convergent or divergent case but this is not the only couple of the possibilities another rare possibility is this when the slopes are equal this is definitely very rare it can happen once in a blue moon but still it can happen so this is why we are considering this case as a rare case now uh, let's uh, try to solve this this is delta uh, over beta which is the value of small b as per the standard form of the difference equation and in this we have to compare it with the um, value that we have in this case it would be equal to minus 1 because we are considering that delta and beta are equal to each other so the response would be equal to 1 now the uh, nature of the time path is to be studied as we have done before we are going to consider the nature and the pattern as well in this case because this is difference equation and the pattern is a salient feature of a difference equations time path uh, b is the absolute value of which we are considering uh, if it is greater than one it would be non-convergent less than one it would be convergent so here both of them that is delta and beta they are equal their ratio would be equal to one and minus sign would be omitted because of the absolute sign and we will get b absolute equal to one now its comparison is to be done with the uh, value of one so it is not less than one in this case it is equal to one so we have a non-convergent or neither because uh, it is not less than one it is exactly equal to one so we can say it's neither we'll see diagrammatically as well that how this neither can be understood on the other side, the, uh, talking about the pattern, pattern is less than zero. It means that if it is, then it will be oscillatory. If it is greater than zero, it will be non-oscillatory. So let's see the, the value of uh, small b. If both of them are equal, it will be equal to one, and the negative sign of the formula will make it minus one on the whole. So it is less than one, and it means that we have an oscillatory time path because the value of b in its actual terms is less than zero it's a negative value so now we can summarize the findings like this that the absolute value of b is equal to one and it is non-convergent and we are calling it uniform because we said that it's going to be neither it can be uh, it can neither be convergent nor divergent so one thing is now clear that it's going to be a uniform sort of movement. We'll see it in the diagram as well. And oscillatory it is, uh, that the uh, price uh, time path. Let's see the diagram so that we get clear about it. Referring to the previous video in which we saw the convergent and the divergent diagrams, this is the uniform oscillation because if this is the possibility, that is the price at equilibrium is this and this is from where we begin the journey this will show the disparity between the two that is uh, there is an excess supply and then due to excess supply there will be fall in the price in a discrete way and we will be led to this deficit where there is excess demand and then excess demand would increase the price in this way which will lead us to the surplus one more time here we had um, another decline in the price because of the supply uh, surplus and this would lead to the deficit again so you can see this deficit is happening again and then we get uh, back into that price increase and this can this will continue this will be the other part of the uh, uh, set of the price that we will have a lower price than the equilibrium price and there will be a higher price than the equilibrium price which means that we have an oscillatory uh, fashion of the movement of price and 
it means that we are having a uniform oscillation it is neither getting less nor getting more it is the same above and below the equilibrium translating this static uh, dyna uh, sense into the dynamic sense we have time on x axis and price as a function of time on y axis this is the initial price and this is the first price this is the first price p1 this is p2 this is p3 where we can say that p3 is equal to p1 and this would be p4 where we can say p2 is equal to p4 so this is how this uh, oscillatory pattern would exist which would be equidistant below and above the equilibrium here we have mentioned that there is equidistant dynamics in the market and the slope of supply curve should be equal to the slope of demand curve it is uniform oscillation above and below equilibrium price as you can see above and below equilibrium price same amount of oscillation happening so the conclusion is that the existence of uniform oscillation case is rare event yes it is because the equality that is delta and beta if they are equal it is a rare thing but it can happen and we should have this analyzed in the three possibilities of the Cobb model oscillations equality of the slope is a matter of chance as we agreed upon it any slight inequality can lead to convergence or divergence if they are slightly different from one and each other then it might lead to the convergence or divergence because we have seen in the previous uh, diagrams that it is natural that the deviation will happen in such a way that there will be either convergence or divergence so this is a rare case in Cobb model uh, and we have now three cases as as the three possibilities of the Cobb model that we have studied in our uh, diagrammatical framework of the Cobb model now we are in a position to do a numerical of Cobb model which will be done in the next video thank you